Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if it's your first time here, welcome. My name is Mal and I make Tumblr tutorials here on YouTube. In today's video, we're going to be making a cup using the brand new PDB glitter pack that just came out this month. Here it is. This pack was curated by Swery Kim. I'm sure you guys are familiar with her. She's got a huge TikTok following. And let me tell you, she's got a talent for mixing glitters too, because this pack is amazing. It's so good. So when these colors go on sale individually, make sure you grab them. I'm sure they will probably sell out, but holy cannoli, they are so beautiful. So we're going to be using all five of these to make a cup design today. I really hope that you enjoy the video and make sure you go and grab these glitters. As always, I'll have links to all the products I'm using in this video down below in the description box. I'll also have links to all of my social media pages. So my Instagram, Facebook, Facebook group, Patreon group, you know, all of that good stuff will be down in the description box. Okay. I think that's it. I really hope you like the video. Let's go. I've got my 30 ounce stubby tumbler from Craft Haven all prepped and ready to go. And we're going to use with these glitters, this pattern vinyl sheet from Gracefully Created. The colors in this pattern vinyl match the colors of the glitter mixes pretty perfectly. So I had to use this sheet. We're going to do a little bit of a different split design here. Instead of doing like a traditional half and half vertical split, I wanted to do a diagonal edge and a straight edge. So I'm taking some blue painters tape and laying that diagonally on the cup. And then I'm not going to estimate half and half. I really just Kind of eyeball this to see what would look best on my cup size. So I turned my cup a little bit and then laid a straight line of tape down. So we have this kind of like diagonal burst of this pattern vinyl on one side of our cup. I'm going to tape off the side I'm not using so I don't get confused. And now I'm going to apply the pattern vinyl basically how I typically would on any other design. So I'm going to line up the edge of my vinyl with the straight edge of my tape. And then I'm going to mark off where I can cut off all of my excess. And I'm going to use my paper trimming tool here, my slicer tool. You can use scissors or whatever. The other end of your vinyl doesn't have to be straight. So if you want to just slice it right off, go for it. So now I'm going to apply this vinyl with a piece of tape. I'm going to put that on the edge of my vinyl so I can take this straight edge and just like nudge it right up against that straight edge of tape. This was kind of tricky to do to make sure it was lined up properly and lay the tape down, but I got it. And once I had it laid down, I decided to add a larger piece of tape along the entire edge just to reinforce that seam and make sure that our vinyl doesn't get wonky on us as we're trying to apply. So now from here, I'm going to pull up a little bit of that backing, cut off that backing. So I have a little sliver of the vinyl adhesive exposed and I'm going to lay that down on my cup. And from here, I'm just going to use my vinyl scraper tool, the felt edge to lay this vinyl down onto my cup. So now this is probably one of the most difficult parts, maybe not for you, but for me, this is the hardest thing. I'm going to find that line of tape, that diagonal line of tape and use my craft knife to cut off all of this excess vinyl. So I'm taking this really, really slowly here, making sure that I take my time. I always try to go too fast with these things. And I think that's probably why I can't cut in a straight line because I just want to like whoosh, cut my straight line. I'm going to take this piece of excess and just lay it right back down on the backing and use it for something else. So now from here, I will remove that piece of tape from the edge and I'll finish the top and bottom of my cup. So for the top rim, I'm going to do the same thing I always do with pattern vinyl. I'm going to pull it tightly up over that top rim and then trim off the excess right along the edge of the top rim and then go in again with my knife at an angle and get rid of all those little slivers of vinyl so we can start to create that little stainless steel edge that will help our epoxy seal on our cup and everything will be finished nicely. So then on the bottom, I'm just gonna take this little piece of vinyl here and pull it down under that bottom rim to make sure we have a seamless finish, you know, from the side all the way down to the bottom. 
For the other side of our cup, we're gonna do a little kind of retro wavy line design. So I created this stencil and it will be available in my digital shop on Etsy. I'll have it linked down below in the description box. But I cut out these wavy lines with my tried and true, my stencil vinyl, and I made them about like an inch and a half maybe a little bit more than an inch and a half wide. This all just depends on how much room you have on your cup and how big you want each section of your wavy lines to be. And I just laid those down by hand. I spaced them out, just eyeballed that spacing. This doesn't have to be perfect. Remember, this is kind of like an abstract, fun design. The bottom, don't worry about it. We'll finish that at the very end. So now I've got three stencils laid down and I've got all of my sections here. So I'm just gonna go in a certain order. I'm gonna start with Get Effed, then Minty Seiji, then wrong zip, then if you will, and then I'll just repeat that pattern. So since we have an odd number of wavy lines, if you will is gonna be the color that's only used once. And I just put that right in the middle so you still get that impact of that color. You still will see it. I'm gonna tape off the edges of my vinyl with my painter's tape. And then I decided to just fill in the whole thing with painter's tape because this first round, I'm gonna spray paint my base colors. So for get effed, I'm gonna use like a bright copper paint from Rust-Oleum. And then for wrong zip, I'm gonna use Aurora Blue from Montana Colors. So I just spray painted both of those, let them dry about 30 minutes, and now I'm going in with my Crystal Act Glitter Glue to adhere the glitters to these sections. I'm gonna start with get effed, so I'm gonna paint both of those sections with my glitter glue, and then go in with this glitter. You guys, when you see these glitters, like, ugh, they're just beautiful. I think I'm gonna use them a lot, I'm hoping that they stay in stock because I'm definitely gonna need to order more of each of these colors. They are just beautiful. And I'm gonna go in and do the exact same thing with wrong zip, taking my glitter glue, painting both of these sections, and now this one is so pretty, you guys. It's just a really dreamy light purple mix. And I feel like if you put it on a like a pink base, it would pull a little bit more pink. It's got a little bit of that iridescence to it, so you could do a lot with this color. Once I had the glitters down, I removed the rest of my stencil, so I have all of my remaining wavy lines exposed. And I'm gonna go in and jump right into them. We're gonna do all of these at the same time. If you feel more comfortable letting them dry in between, you can absolutely do that, but I'm just gonna go right in. So for the If You Will section, I'm gonna use Chic Pink from Ceram Coat. It's Delta Ceram Coat acrylic paint. And I'm just gonna carefully paint along those edges right in between the two glitter sections we've laid down. And then for Minty Seiji, I'm going to use Tropic Bay Blue. It's the same brand of acrylic paint. I'm gonna go in and just paint those sections. And then I'm gonna do a second coat of the paint on the middle section. The two blue sections definitely didn't need a second coat. So once those dried, I let those sit and dry about 30 minutes. I went in with the glitter glue to adhere my glitter. I'm gonna start with If You Will because that's our darker color. And I would recommend shaking this glitter up before you use it because there are so many things in this glitter. It's really deceiving to look at the outside of the bottle. You do not expect what comes out of the spout based on looking at the outside of the bottle. So there's that one on there. Like, look how beautiful that is. And then finally, we're gonna go in and take Minty Seiji. It's really hard for me to pick a favorite. Every one that I've put on, I'm like, ooh, this one's my favorite. And then I put the next one on and I'm like, wait, no, this one's my favorite. So I can't pick a favorite, but I am a little partial to a Minty Seiji Tiffany Blue color. Once I've got all my glitter laid down, I'm gonna go through and remove all of my tape from my cup. Remember, we don't have any epoxy on our cup, so just be careful when you pull that tape off of your vinyl. You don't want it to lift or anything anywhere. I'm gonna let this sit and dry overnight, and then I'm gonna go in and individually seal each glitter with the glitter glue. Taking the darkest color first, I'm using a really small paintbrush here. I'm gonna go through darkest color, wash my brush in between each color, and then kind of fan my way out, go from darkest to lightest, basically. If you would prefer to spray seal, you can absolutely do that. I just really like the hold that the glitter glue has on the glitter. That glitter does not move. So I let this sit for two hours, and now I'm gonna go in with my first two coats of epoxy. This first coat was probably about 30 milliliters. 
I'm using Mr. Nola's Speed Dry Epoxy for these first two coats. So I'm gonna put this first one on, wait just about two hours, it cures pretty quickly, and then go in with a second coat of about 20, ish milliliters. Once the second coat was cured or dry, I went in with my craft knife along the top rim of my cup to get rid of all of the excess epoxy up there. And now I'm gonna do all of my sanding. So starting with a 60 grit sanding block, I'm gonna go pretty hard on that top rim. I really want to expose that thin line of the stainless steel that's going to help form the seal with our epoxy at the very end. Then go in with a 100 grit sanding block and just buff out all of those sanding marks from the 60. I washed my cup with some dish soap and water and now I'm ready to add all of my vinyl striping to my cup. The vinyl I'm using is Ultra Glitter Silver Holographic Vinyl from Craft Haven. And I cut out two straight lines at about 0.13 inches wide. But I'm gonna lay those down first on the straight edges of our design, obviously. And I'm just cutting off a little bit of the excess down at the bottom. We're gonna finish the bottom, so don't worry about how those edges look there. And then included in this stencil file, I've got the striping lines that match the wavy lines. So I'm gonna just carefully lay these down, just match these up. You can see how slowly I'm going here. I didn't speed this footage up, at least for this one, I wanted you to see how slowly I take it and really exactly what I'm doing. Now this ultra glitter vinyl is pretty stretchy. So if you wanted to like draw your own stencil or like make your own wavy lines, you could still use this ultra glitter vinyl as your striping and then just kind of mold it and maneuver it around the stripes or waves that you create. Once I had my vinyl lines laid down, I went in with another coat of epoxy to seal the vinyl in. And now we're going to finish up the bottom of our cup. So I'm taking some electrical tape and removing the stickiness from the tape. I don't wanna pull anything up here. So I'd like to take a little bit of that stickiness away. I'm gonna tape off the bottom and base paint it with flat white spray from Rust-Oleum. Using the spray paint as the adhesive, I'm gonna go in with our final color, which is Heart Happy. It's a really pretty iridescent fine. Oh, it's, it's just a really pretty white. So I'm gonna let that sit and dry about 30 minutes, remove my tape, seal it with a coat of matte clear spray from Rust-Oleum, and now I'm gonna go in with my final coats of epoxy. Each of my last two coats was about maybe between 20 to 25 milliliters, and once those are cured, you are all finished. So that's it for this tutorial, you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button down below and make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss any of my new videos. I upload brand new Tumblr tutorials every single week. If you weren't able to grab the full glitter pack for all of these colors, they should be available individually very, very soon. And when you order, don't forget to use my code Mallory21 to save $5 off your $20 order. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Okay, love you. Bye.